this is one of the shortest weekly mass challenges yet, but certainly not the easiest. Let omega be e to the pi i divided by 1010, so we have omega being 20 20th root of unity, because omega is e to the 2 pi i divided by 2020, and sure enough, we have a bunch of 2019s in our expression, which is intimately related to 2020. So, we wish to find the last 3 digits of the given expression, which is minus the summation from k equals 1 to 2019, of a product from j equals 1 to 2019, such that, this is important, j is not equal to k of omega to the k minus omega to the j. Of course, if we disregard this condition, if we drop this condition, then for every k, we are going to have omega to the k minus omega to the k, or 0 in the product. So for every k, we are going to have 0. Summing up the zeros, that's going to be trivially 0. That would be a boring problem, and that's not the case here. We have j not equals to k. So let us begin. The solution I wish to share with you today is the one that's gorgeous, exceedingly beautiful, that I discovered during the development stage of this problem, and it utilizes well-chosen polynomials that are very closely related to the expression at hand. And one of the polynomials is going to be p of x is equal to x minus omega times x minus omega squared times x minus omega cubed all the way to x minus omega 3 2019. Certainly a quick glance is enough to persuade us that this polynomial is pretty closely related to the expression at hand, but just to make it more explicit, let me actually write down what our expression is. So, when k is 1, we are going to have expressions of the form omega to the first power minus omega to the j, such that j is not equal to 1. So we are going to have omega minus omega squared, omega minus omega cubed, omega minus omega to the fourth, all the way to omega minus omega to the 2019. And to that, when k is 2, we are going to have omega squared minus omega j. So we have omega squared minus omega, and we are going to skip omega squared minus omega squared, so omega squared minus omega cubed, and so on. And this is going to repeat, repeat, and repeat until we come to k of 2019, in which case we are going to have omega to the 2019's power minus omega, omega to the 2019's power minus omega squared, and so on, all the way to omega to the 2019's minus omega to the 2018's. So p of x is not quite the expression we are looking for, but it seems like we can derive some information about what's going to happen when we subtract things from omega omega squared all the way to omega 3 2019 for any x by considering p of x. So maybe by working with p of x, we can derive some information about the expression that we are given, which is the entire point. So let's now look at p of x. First, to realize that p of x can be written as x to the 2020 minus 1 divided by x minus 1, because if you attach another x minus 1 to p of x, then this entire thing becomes a polynomial that has zeros of 1, omega, omega squared, all the way to omega to the 2019. And that's precisely x to the 2020 minus 1, because x to the 2020 minus 1 is equal to 0 when x is one of the 2020s root of unity. So you know, when you attach x minus 1, you get x to the 2020 minus 1. So the expression we actually care about is x to the 2020 divided by x minus 1. And we can factor x minus 1 out of x to the 2020 minus 1, getting us x to the 2019 plus x to the 2018 plus x to the 2017, all the way to plus x plus 1. This is a famous factorization that x to the nth minus 1 is in the form 1 plus x all the way to x to the n minus 1 times x minus 1. So this is the expression we have. You can verify this by multiplying it out if you wish. But anyway, that's the expression we get for p of x. Now, there is something interesting that I want to point out that's unrelated to our problem, but fascinating nevertheless. Look at what p of 1 is. Well, we know p of 1 is 1 minus omega times 1 minus omega squared, 
all the way to 1 minus omega t 2019 by just plugging in 1 into x, but we can also plug 1 into the equivalent form of p of x. So when you plug 1 here, then we are adding 1's 20, 20 times, 2019 times, then 2020 20th time. So we know this expression, which looks very complicated, is just 2020. And that really illustrates the power of well-chosen polynomials in deriving additional information about roots of unity. So that's nice and all, but what do we do now? How do we really proceed from p of x to the expression? And this is a crucial point in this video, and I am about to make a very powerful assertion that this expression is in fact equal to negative summation from k equals to 1 to 2019, wait for it, of p prime derivative of p at omega to the k. I highly encourage you to pause the video, ponder why are these expressions the same. Once this makes sense to you, we are 75% of the way there. Before we establish the equality, it is only right that we take time to recognize Rishabh Gupta, who was the very first person to provide a correct solution to this problem last week. A huge shout out to Rishabh Gupta. Now, let us go on. To establish the equality, let's quickly think about what p prime of x is. Well, that's going to be every expression except x minus w plus every expression except x minus omega squared, every expression except x minus omega cubed, and so on, all the way until every expression except x minus omega to the 2019. Now just looking at this expression, see what you get when you plug in omega. When we plug in omega, we are going to get the expression that we want plus a bunch of zeros because the term x minus omega is going to be attached to the rest of them. And when we plug in omega squared, we are going to get the expression that we want right here and the rest of them are going to go away as we wish and all the way to omega to the 2019. So this entire thing is precisely this. And that's much easier to evaluate because we know a nice form of p of x in the form x to the 2019 plus x to the 2018 and so on. So let's find p prime of x. So that's what we get when we differentiate this. And that's 2019 x to the 2018 plus 2018 x to the 2017 all the way to just 1. So now the only thing that's blocking our path toward the final solution is the summation from k equals to 1 to 2019 of p prime of omega to the k power. How do we evaluate this? And as you're about to see, the way to go about this is to use symmetry as much as possible. Instead of starting at k equals to 1, start at k equals to 0. Because as you know, omega to the 0 or 1 is also a root of unity. To find this, let's focus one coefficient at a time. So let's focus on perhaps x to the 2018th power. Well, when omega to the 0 is inserted there, you're going to have omega to the 0 times 2018. Plus, when omega to the 1st is inserted, you're going to have omega to the 1st times 2018. Then omega to the 2nd power times 2018. All the way to omega to the 2019th power times 2018. All of them multiply by 2019, of course. But let's generalize it a little bit. Instead of looking at x to the 2018 or x to the 2017, let's just look at an arbitrary x to the k term. What's going to happen when we plug in omega to the 0 all the way to omega to the 2019 to x to the k? Well, that's going to get us omega to the 0 times k in the same way, omega to the 1st times k, omega to the 2nd times k, all the way to omega to the 2019 times k. And wait a bit, this is a geometric series. Then again, not quite, because omega to the k may be 1. When omega to the k is 1, all of these expressions are going to be 1, so it's really not a true geometric series. And when is omega to the k 1? Well, when k is a multiple of 2020, we don't have any of that except omega to the 0 power. So when k is equal to 0, then this entire thing is going to turn out to be 1 plus 1 plus a bunch of 1s. There are 20, 20 ones. So when k is a 0, we're going to get 20, 20. 
but what are we going to get for other values of k? Well, let's sum it up. By the geometric series formula, the sum is going to be the first term, which is 1, times 1 minus the common ratio, which in this case is omega to the k, raised to the number of terms, and we have 20, 20 terms, divided by 1 minus the common ratio. And I point out that if omega to the k was 1, then we have a problem of dividing by 0. But when k is not equal to 0, we know omega to the k is not 1, so we can safely divide by 1 minus omega to the k. And now, wait a bit, omega to the 20, 20 is 1. So in the numerator of the fraction, we have a 1 minus 1, so this entire thing turns out to be 0. And what this is telling us is that when k is not equal to 0, we are not contributing anything to the sum, meaning that this entire thing is simply 20, 20. I also point out that if we started with k equals to 1 instead of k equals to 0, then we were only going to have 20, 19 terms, so we're going to have omega to the k times 20, 19, which does not simplify as well. So let's finish it up. We wish to find this thing. We know that 20, 20 minus the value of p prime when k is 0, that's the one we want to take away, or p prime at 1. And the p prime at 1, what is that? That's simply the sum of all the positive integers from 1 to 20, 19. That's 20, 20 times 20, 19 over 2. Let's clean this up a bit. It is a 20, 20 minus 20, 20 times 20, 19 over 2, or 1,010 times 20, 19. And we only care about the last three digits of the expression. So we can take this mod 1,000, or you can multiply it out. But taking it mod 1,000 is way faster. So we have 20 minus 10 times, so 10 times 19, which is 20 minus 190, also known as negative 170. But we got to remember, we had that pesky negative sign. So in the end, what we are going to have is a positive 170. So this entire question turns out to be positive 170. And I encourage you to prove it's the same process that if 2019 is replaced with n minus 1, and we are taking the nth root of unity, so 2 pi i over n, then this entire summation is going to be n times n minus 3 over 2. And you can verify that when n is 20, 20, this thing turns out to be 170 mod 1000. So we are done.